So, I've seen this challenge on the internet that is burn 10,000, eat 10,000 calories. And I've only seen like big guys attempt it and most of them fail. But I'm always looking for a challenge. I really want to try it. But I also, you know, being an athlete, respect that certain things take time. Certain things take training. So I figured today I'll do the burn 5,000, eat 5,000 challenge as a training method to get ready for that. I would also like to say that I'm pretty much half the size of these guys. So I actually think this is going to be almost as hard for me. I'm just saying, this is just a pre-breakfast snack. I try to never count calories, but today is like a very different situation where I'm not counting to, to try to take them away or have less. I'm counting to make sure that I get enough. This is just for fun. This is just for a challenge. This is just to see what I can do. This is completely separate from like what my normal day-to-day -day life would be like. I'm gonna be using my Garmin to track how many calories I burn. And then I'm just gonna use nutrition facts to count how many I eat, neither of which are super accurate. So it's just another reminder why you shouldn't really pay attention to that too closely. one of probably like eight is done and my hair is already looking like this so if that's any indication of how this day will go we are in for it having some maple syrup and then i'm gonna try to get a little bit more cardio in because if i don't do it now i'm doing it later no pain in my shin it feels immaculate already feel so tired just absolutely toasted like that was pretty high intensity two hours and I need to do that two more times at least today so oh, it's just the beginning this is gonna be so hard A lot of people do these challenges to demonstrate that oh it's so hard to burn calories but so easy to eat them but for me while i was doing this my biggest takeaway was that it's okay to know something has a lot of calories and still eat it that food is not bad because it has calories i mean these pancakes were objectively good these are the best pancakes i've ever made last fun That breakfast was incredible. Now I'm taking Georgie on a walk while I increase the caffeine intake for the day. I'm gonna get on the bike for as long as I can tolerate. And yeah, looking forward to it. I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm really conflicted right now because I'm super bored of biking. I don't want to keep going, but I also don't want to like have to work out for four hours later.
today we're just gonna have a little chat while I eat again. So generally knowing that food had a thousand calories would really freak me out but today I was practicing knowing the amount of calories and things and eating them anyways which I think not counting calories is probably still the way to go but it is a valuable skill to know the calories and be able to get through that fear and eat anyways. Just a taste test here. Quality control. Throughout the video today, you'll see me using the Hydragun Atom, which is a small but mighty massage gun. Oh yeah. It can reduce soreness and help loosen up really tight muscles, which I'll definitely need when I'm working out for like eight hours today. This one also has three different heads, so you can get whatever type of massage you need. And it comes in this little travel pack, which is super portable. Like I was using it in the airport, felt great. Gotta loosen up those shoulders. My shoulders honestly get very tight from editing. And also I've been trying to use this on my shins because you know I've been dealing with an injury and I just wanna make sure I'm keeping that area loose. And this massage gun has a five hour battery life and it's super quiet, which is great. And it also can be recharged super easily with just a USB-C. So would highly recommend and you can use my code to get a discount on Hydragun. The link's in my description. Hello. We are currently on a walk with Georgie. Allie's pretty deep into the day. Let's see if she actually eats it though. Let's, let's see if she caps to everyone. I'm not capping about anything. I'm not like I filmed everything I ate. What are you at right now? 2400. Eaten. No, you're not. I am. I filmed <laughs> everything. See? Everyone's gonna gonna question it, but I filmed everything. Oh, it's so nice. It's so nice to lay down. I really don't want to go to the gym again. I honestly feel like it'd be dangerous for me to do heavy weights right now because I'm so tired. Like, I think my form would just be bad. So, I'm doing a circuit thing. So this is a serious question. Do you think that this type of video could be triggering for people who have eating disorders? I feel like it can be, but like overall I'm gonna try to have like positive messaging. I feel like whenever there are calorie counts, like it can always be triggering. But at the same time, I think it's kind of impossible to avoid triggers and recovering is more about learning to reframe them and change the way that you think. Even for me, I probably wouldn't have done this type of thing like a year ago, but now I feel like I can do it and walk away with like positive lessons instead of feeling like I've been triggered, you know? I'm triggered. <laughs> Best thing you did today. Good one. Nice. Running out of steam. Just you know, gotta refuel. I'm on the 
home stretch now. I'm like nearly there. Once I bike home and then just like live for the rest of the night, I'm pretty sure I'll get there. We're going to pick up a special little treat, aren't we, Jimps? George, you were so energetic. As soon as I turned this on, you're asleep. Could you get it together? <laughs> I can't stop looking at myself. I've got so much personality on your vlog and none on my own. Go get that pizza now, huh? Yeah. God, what a f***ing absolute stud. Tom knows where dreams are born. Oh, yeah. It's all for you, Georgie. Woo! No time for dominoes. I ate about half of mine in three minutes. <laughs> As we near the end of this video, I want to remind everyone that you never have to earn food. It is always something that you need, and seeing exercise as a way to earn food takes so much of the joy out of it. Well, how was it? Pretty fucking good. I'm just a bit of a slow eater, okay? I'm working here. Training is usually the best part of my day, but today, when I was just trying to burn calories, it was my least favorite part. Last bite right here. As you watch me mow down this ice cream, I just want to give my final thoughts. Firstly, if you're a high level athlete or someone that trains a lot is very active, it's important to know that calories are not the enemy. You truly need so much and should be looking at ways to add more to your meals, to add more substance, not to take it away. Secondly, when exercise is viewed as only a means to burn calories, it is way less enjoyable. And finally, I ate high calorie foods all day and I didn't spontaneously combust a single time. So just, you know, keep that in your back pocket something to think about. Oh, I'm so full. I gotta fall into just a nice 10 to 12 hour long food coma now. Oh, but yeah, I did it. The day is completed. <sighs> it wasn't terrible, but it definitely wasn't easy. It was pretty hard. I'm really, really 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 tired now